Hi there and welcome to Busternet. Yes, uh, on today's show, we're going to be doing a little guide on the register. The register is a phenomenal role in the game. He's modeled on Andre Perillo. I don't think Ju Chan is a new patron. He's asked me how to make a register. How, how would a register play? How would you set it up? And I used to play with registers a lot in previous editions of the game. I've since uh, fallen in love more with the inverter wing and the Manzala. And that's not to say the register isn't a good player. A good role is a fantastic role, but you have to understand how it plays. Now, the register is, is, is a playmaker, right? So he's going to be a magnet for the ball. So you don't really want a lot of playmakers around him. So that's the first thing you have to remember. The second thing that you have to remember is a register plays in a system that's pretty offensive because he's high up the pitch. So you need to play with a system that's got a high defensive line. You gotta be putting pressure on the opponents and winning the ball back because you can't afford to be defending. You can't have a low defensive line because the register is roaming, is all over the place. You could be in trouble. Um, so you're looking at creating options for the register to pass to. So you're playing high up the pitch against a lot of defensive systems. This is gonna be a problem, right? So uh, it's gonna be like, oh god, you know, what can we do? I'm playing high up the pitch, so maybe you wanna have a. Sometimes you wanna play with a line of engagement. Right, so you, you're playing high up the pitch, you might want to adjust the line of engagement slightly so you give them some rope to hang themselves with. But you still need to be able to win the second ball and feed it back to the register. So you, you can play the register in a, lot of, in a lot of tactics, but generally, you'll be using them in a 4-1-4-1, 4-1-3-2, 4-1-2-3. Even a 4-2-3-1 could use a register if it's like got a DM in the DM slot. Problem with that setup is it's not ideal. Personally, when I play with the register, if I was to use him in a DM, double DM system, I'll, ha I'll have to push him and I ask him to get further forward. If that is the case, why don't I just use a Segundo Volante? Then the register is just overkill. So what kind of attributes do you need in a register? For lots of mental attributes. He needs the whole gamut. A anticipation, concentration, decisions, passing, flair, vision. Um, or physical attributes. He needs balance, agility. He needs work rate. Then determination. Then on the other side, he's passing as well so he needs dribbling and first touch these players are fantastic ball magnets so you got to use a system which doesn't play on a super fast tempo doesn't have too many guys flying off right early so that uh players look to them for the passes you got to build play it's a very italian style you know you, you you slow pace and then you high up the pitch it's a very dangerous game so you, if you want to make this work the earliest incarnation was probably the two three five uh that looks something like this i guess two three Two, two, one, or something like this. It like it, the W, and then it's got a nice W shape here. So we have the register punching for uh, two holding players here, two hard working. The register always needs a screen, so it's free. And then he'll do raking passes. I think this reminds me of Manchester United's Charlie Roberts, right? I mean, I never saw him play because I was not born yet, but uh, he would rake passes into wider areas. This is an example of how a register could play. And then uh, we had other systems as well. Now, this is uh, another way of putting the register. I think uh, closest way I can do the Christmas tree with the register would be something like this, a 4 3 2, one where we would register two hardworking players here, two players attacking the space, and uh, one more. So the register is now focusing play through the middle while the, the, the whole area here is screening him, protecting him as he does that. And then finally, we have another variation, which is a bit more of the modern register, uh, the Michael Carrick role, the Andre Pirillo role, where the register sits behind two hardworking uh, players here who do all the hard work. Jabi Alonso for Bayern Munich. Um, I think uh, when he was even playing for Liverpool, this was the way they used to line up. He, he would be behind the two hardworking players, so he had time and space to you know sling those passes. So the thing is this, uh, you, you're playing an expansive game. So the register needs to have good passing, vision and decision. So when you want to uh, get somebody to play that role, he's going to have to have all those attributes and you've got to pick the right player for him uh, to play that role. So here, if I'm going through this team um, to look for a player that can play as a register, what do I look for? Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to look at their support um, DNA. I want to look at off the ball. I also want to move. Let's forget support. Let's look at the attacking side of the game. Right? So we're looking at um, first touch, off the ball, decisions, passing. So we're looking at all the midfielders. Uh, again. And we're going to look for things like composure. Looking for balance. 
I'm looking for this de uh, decisions. I'm looking for off the ball. So now they, I I'm not finding a lot of plays here. We can do this. So decisions 14. I got Hussein Awa. Um, 17, 17. If, if he's available, I'm going to use him for this next game. Um, uh, and um, uh, let's see. Let's go to the squad. The match is today, so Hussein Mawa is not too bad. He could play as in the register role, which means that the players in front of him have got to do the hard work here. Passing, vision, uh, decisions not that fantastic. He's got first touch composure. Maybe I can feel him. Push comes to shove. Then we got Jordan Ferry. Um, no, he can't play as a register. Um, Passing, vision, decisions are pretty average. Comes deep to get the ball, maybe. They got Max Sense, got Corre, a young player, 18 years old. Too young. Um, his composure and concentration don't make me want to think of him as a register. Uh, so you got to look at players and, you know, you got to pick the right player for the register role. He, ideally, he has to have a range of passing in him. Like passing should be, he should have very good passing, he should have vision, he should have decisions. So this guy, Lucas Toussaint, he's also another screen. Then we got Jason Denea, as we go through this list, we discover that there's only one player here, Hussein Awa. He's got passing, he's got vision, he's got decisions, he's got off the ball. And uh, we will have to play him as a register, but there's a slight problem. He plays one twos. This is a drawback, so we might have to use Ndombele. Yeah, we might have to use Ndombele this position. This is a bit of a disappointment because you you also want to make sure that they they have the right trade. So here we're going to use this system. I'm um, using this register in a four one two three. I'm going to try and uh, we have a ball winning midfielder, a central midfielder on defender register, so he can go up and down the pitch. Uh, let's quick pick and see how we do. Uh, I think uh, Ndombele is injured. We have a lot of players of injured. He needs a rest. We're going to go Kakari. Wow. We're not getting a lot of options here. We've got Trusa, we've got Baba Sheikh. We got we want these guys to be up here providing the screen. So these two guys are gonna give us the width and hopefully uh he can see those passes standard with a higher tempo. Um standard with a slightly higher tempo. And when you play with a register, um in the old days, it's like a deep line playmaker. He hits into space. But uh, in the way we, as I have done, you can also do it with a deep line. Def you know, you play with a deepish defensive line. But the challenge now in FM19 is if you do that, uh, your register is going to do a lot of defending. So that's going to be a problem. We'll, I'll, show it, I'll show this in the game as well. So here we've got play moving. We've got... Uh, the screen here, the central midfield on defense is going to try and help the defense. So this gives the register a bit of space for him to move into the pitch. Here we go. The register is trying to uh, link play up. He plays a nice pass out wide to the fullback. So what I'm going to do next is make this tactic a bit more interesting. Since we've got two holding players here and we're not doing very much in terms of roles and duties with these two. So it's time to turn these two guys into an attacking force. Or rather, we'll, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We just turn them to inverted wingbacks on support. Right? And then we push them higher up the pitch. We give them an overlap, overlap, and focus play through the middle. So the ball is played. We got our inverted wingback looking for the register. The register links play up with the inverted wingback. They go back to the register again. He links play up. And the re you can see now the register is moving forward because we got two defend duties here. They look for the register. He plays a simple pass out. Register again with the ball, slings one down. We just need a better register here. <laughs> so what we've what we've done now is we've changed our we've added a Mazala. So this guy is gonna go and work very closely with the winger on attack. So these two guys might be you know, holding hands quite a fair bit. Uh then we got a register here. Who, and we got inverted wing backs as well. Maybe I'll just turn this guy into a full back. Um a wing back on defense. We we pro we protect the uh the flank where the register is supposed to be working on. So the play the register is the ball. It plays a simple pass. They play back to the register. Register does a good job of like you know keeping possession. They look gonna look for him. 
You look for him again. He holds the ball and plays a scathing pass down the flank. So this is this is what a register can bring to your game. So there are, there are many ways you can set the register. You can have defense duties. You can have a Mazala uh, working with a with a basically I'm using the Mazala with the winger because both of them are going to be a bit wider. So this gives a bit more space for the for the register to explore. So right now I'm playing with a slightly different system. I've got a three one four two. Uh, we have told uh, the team to play hit early crosses and pass into space. Uh, I'm going to remove this play for set pieces. And we want to see the register and see what the register can do. Even in this kind of a setup, the register can work. The only thing here you have to worry about is whether that screen is doing the job that we want them to do. Traore is, you can see the build up of the play. They try, they, sometimes your team is not going to play with the register. They're going to bypass the register completely. But this only happens when you're building the play up quickly through from back to front. And this, they skip the register. We've got a Mazala as well playing near, not far away from the register. So we give ourselves two outlets. Uh, the register helps us with keeping possession of the ball and switching the focus of play. So you, when you create a tactic like this with a register, you notice the position he's playing. Uh, he's playing quite high up the pitch. He helps us keep moving the ball around. Uh, and if you have the right kind of play, we can dictate tempo, tries long range passes, has got very good passing range, then you're going to have a very solid asset on your hands. So when you want to create a register, you really have to spend a, some time of deciding on the right kind of player for the role. So you, you want to get a player with good passing vision decisions, dictating tempo, tries long range passes, killer passes. Th these are all going to be great for the register. More importantly, the register will fail if he has to do a lot of defending. You got to be, if he's doing a lot of tackling and it, he, interceptions are fine, but you don't want him to be tackling. Just think about all the, the players who played as great registers in history. You've got Zabi Alonso playing with Liverpool. He was a good register. Um, he had Gerard in front of him winning a lot of the balls. He was always playing a bit deeper off Gerard. Then we've got Michael Carrick, another English kind of um, um, register. Then we got, of course, we've got the legendary one and only Andre Pirlo. But all these players have one thing in common. They have players around them who could win the ball. So if you want to play a register and you want to you want to do it well, a register can work in a lot of tactical systems. But what you need to make sure of is a you don't play too many playmakers around the uh, the register. Two, you want to make sure that the screen around the the register is solid. This includes the fullbacks as well. They got to be they have to be at least on support duty. They have to be in line with the register at times. And then we've got to make sure that. Around him, there's, you create a, a, an area where you can win the ball and then they can feed it off him. So he can help you build the play up. Then once you start camping, you can switch play. But in the, the latest version, I did a 3 3 4 one, 2 and I had a Mazala as well. So I had another... He's not a playmaker, he's a quasi-playmaker. At least the register now, uh, because there are going to be matches. What happens in, in one of your games if you can't? get the register into the game then it's going to be a major problem right because your whole game will fall apart because of the register so you want to think about option a and option b whenever you want to play with the register the registers are phenomenal in the game you're going to have a lot of fun with them so let me know how your little save comes along and uh, let me know how your tactic comes up and share the tactic that you made work with the register who knows i might be coming up with one for the community very soon but i hope you enjoyed this little short little guide on Another role in the game, the register, and how you can make it work in your game. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank all my patrons for their continued support of this channel. Make this kind of show as possible for the rest of the community. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye.